Paul. Yes. The lawful object of a contract. <laughs> the requirement that what your contract commits you or the other party to do must be lawful. Uh -huh. Scarcely needs discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Gambling contracts and contracts that tend to create a monopoly are unlawful and will not be enforced. <laughs> if you have any doubts as to the legality of the of your proposed contract, ask your lawyer. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's say that every lawyer was my lawyer everywhere in the United States. Yes, <laughs> everywhere in Russia, Ouch. and everywhere in the United uh, the United the 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 the, the United. <laughs> The European Union. <laughs> now, I go to any attorney in Russia, in the United States, and in the European Union. <clears throat> I give them the conditions necessary to serve an individual a weapon surrender form. Yeah. I inform them that it wasn't the Sheriff's Department that served me in the Squim Public Library. <laughs> Am I obligated, yes, to uh, obey, yes, any court order where the actual conditions of the order were not met at the time of the issuance of it? <laughs> well, now you're getting to for the punitive damages of issuing contractual obligations of the court right now. <laughs> now, let's say I'm wanting some money today. <laughs> I'm wanting a large amount of money to make an investment in some new building products. Yes. So that I can sell them to the most expensive locations throughout the world. <clears throat> so they can build high rise hotels and casinos for those that are very wealthy. <laughs> I would think, yes, that when you said it was good enough, yes, it is an actual breach of contract. Yeah. See. The conditions of every court order, yes, uh, must be executed according to the required conditions of the court order. Mm -hmm. The protection order had four uh, available ways to serve the respondent. Yes, it could have been law enforcement, as it says. Yes, could have been private party, mm -hmm. could have been mail or publication. Right, or you could have served the respondent before having court hearings. Mm -hmm. the the respondent could have appeared in court. Yes, he could have. <laughs> and then you could uh, say that, well, since he appeared in court, he does know the conditions, the the prohibitations, yes, of the actual court order. <laughs> now, the weapon surrender form only had two conditions of service after it was issued. Yes, it was law enforcement. Oh. Or the respondent actually appeared in court, and that's probably at the place where they would have said, Paul... <laughs> Why don't you make sure that you go home and bring all your weapons to the police station so that we can take any and all weapons that you might have? <laughs> now, a lot of people, they were thinking about it. <clears throat> they were thinking, well, <laughs> how many times do you go to court and you bring a gun with you? Never! You never go to court and bring a gun with you!